So what the rule that's very specific is you cannot take the square root of a negative number. And really, it's not just the square root. It's the even root. So whenever your index, remember your index is that n, like the root power. Whenever your index is even, you cannot take the even root of any negative number. Odd root, you can. Because let's think about this. The cube root of um, negative 16, or let's just think about this as a number. You know, the cube root of negative 8. That is negative 2. Because negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 equals negative 8. You agree? So you can, as long as you're taking the odd root, you can take the odd root of a negative number. Now again, 16 is not a um, 16 is not a cube number. However, I can rewrite that in terms of negative 8. And then a twelfth is I is I can't raise that to I can raise that to the third power. I can raise a to the fourth to the third power. So I'm just going to write it how I would do it. And then I'll have you guys. Take a look at it. That is my cube number. That is a to the 12th written as something to the third power, a to the fourth cubed. Does everybody see how that gives you a to the 12th, right? Because Natalie, when you raise a power or when you raise an exponent to a power, you multiply the powers. Then this I can rewrite as negative 2 cubed times 2 times a to the fourth cubed, right? Just to kind of joke. Now, again, using my identity element. Whenever I take the nth root of something to the nth power, I just get a. The third, third root, or the cube root, of negative 2 cubed is just negative 2. I can't do anything with the 2, so that's going to stay there. The cube root of a to the fourth cubed is just a to the fourth. And then I have the cube root of 2. Ta-da. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Richard.